many rounds under amateur mixed martial arts rules in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, tonight making his engaged debut, representing Spartan MMA. Please welcome Matthew Ambrose. His opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the cage with a professional with a mixed martial arts record of one defeat. Representing Hammer, please welcome Hamil Bujagovi. Your referee in charge the action, Mr. Neil Hall. Well, Brad Wharton and Steve Cook have it here. This is a middleweight. Amateur competition here at FCC 21. Matthew Ambrose fighting out of the blue corner in the black RDX trunks, taking on Emil Vujakovic, fighting out of Hama in the red corner, the red trunks. I like it when life plays those little. And we start straight away with Vujakovic controlling the center of the cage. Yeah, we've seen Emil before on FCC. Uh, last time out, actually, at FCC 20. Went the full three rounds against Jake Burke, unfortunately came up on the wrong side of the judges' decision. So looking to even up that record here tonight, FCC 21 against the debutant, Matthew Ambrose. Ambrose looks very calm and collected in there. Now, both these guys coming out of pretty solid teams. Hammer have been around on FCC since the very, very early days. I'd like to venture it as far back as uh, FCC2, I believe. And a gym that has grown in stature over the years as well. Well, you only need to look, look at the pros and amateurs competing out of Hammer these days to see just how much they have grown as a gym. They really are producing a number of uh, top-level domestic competitors and even competitors uh, going overseas and having success. Now, the, the likes of uh, Connor Hignett, for example, competed overseas a number of times. And domestically, Ashley Reese, Mick Stanton. Well, we've got quite an even contest here as Kukodrich landed an uppercut a few moments ago that incited Ambrose into the clinch. And for the last few moments, we've had Ambrose setting the pressure up against the cage. The hammer corner looking on intently there. We see Andy, the Lions, Paul Devant, Sean Martin, and the Houghton Hammer, Mick Stanton. All offering encouragement. Vujakovic needs to get his back off the cage here. Ambrose looks very strong in the upper body, Steve. You've got to believe he's going to be very happy to just pressure away against the cage. Absolutely. Got to be careful that he's not taking knees into the midsection like that, but controlling at the moment, and he looks... He looks sticky and strong. But Ambrose with the uh, Andre Avlovsky fanged mouth guard there. I like the fact that whenever Fujikovic gets even a little bit of space, he's throwing those knees up the middle. But Ambrose stands sticky. Looking to frame off the face is Fujikovic here. Nice knee to the body. From Ambrose, though. Ah, Double underhook. And a big knee to the body for Vujakovic, the hammer man, looking to create some separation here in the final 10 seconds of the round. Absolutely. It's a case of uh, positions just reversing now. Ambrose is eating the pressure against the cage. And a solid, competitive first round of action between Matthew Ambrose and Emil Vujakovic there, Steve. A very, very quick minutes. Had a little bit of everything in it. It seemed in the open that the hammer man, Emil Vujakovic, he, he perhaps was in the ascendancy, but in the clinch and up against the cage, Ambrose worked tirelessly. And these are both, for, for amateur level, reasonably sized middleweight. So they've, they've both got a, a bit of power in the upper body, but it did look like Ambrose had the advantage in the clinch. He's also been able to mark up the head of Vujakovic. If you look on the left side of Vujakovic's head, uh, well, he's over there getting instruction in the corner. The, you know, there's a number of nasty scrapes on the head there. Not sure if that came from the fence or came from strikes, but either way, perhaps the clinch game isn't where he wants to be. Perhaps he needs to use 
that uh, length and reach advantage that he has, and, stay out of the pocket and strike from range. And it is a noticeable one. He's probably, he's got four or five inches of height easily on Ambrose. And, but as long as he keep, lets Ambrose inside, Ambrose can nullify that reach. We, we may have a different estimation of what five inches looks like, Steve, but that's probably a, a conversation for another time. Uh, perhaps. I would have sworn that was two feet in difference, but what do I know? It is, it is kind of like watching the hunter and the hunt head at the moment. Emil taking the center, walking down Matthew Ambrose a little bit. Oh, nice right hand from the southpaw. Oh, he's working out, he's, he, he briefly switched to the southpaw stance in the Philly Shell defensive style there. Threw the right hand off it beautifully. Back into an orthodox stance now for Vujakovic. But it, it, it could be that switching that stance up between orthodox and southpaw is the way to go from here because Ambrose looked uh, a little bit lost there for a second. Yeah, and, and as it is a Neil setting We've talked about this before. You can only have one guy leading the show. And right now, Emil is trying to lead this dance. Ambrose looking to clinch up here as Vujakovic throws some big oh, yeah. punches. Tried, Heavy leather from the man from Hammer. Tried to score with that uppercut just to end that flurry. And the corner of Ambrose remonstrating with them, and they want him to clinch up quicker, not leave as long. On those entries, oh, and that was a sloppy entry yeah. there, it has to be said. He's, he's going to pay for it with a big knee to the body and a right hand on the break. He's got to be he's starting to telegraph those things. And for a man whose body language looks good in the rounds, oh, he's big looking right tired. Hand. Oh, that oh. rocked the thread. Taking the legs out from underneath Ambrose. Ambrose clinging on for dear life, trying to clear his head there. And referee Neil Hall just directing the corner of Ambrose to sit down. Beautiful hip toss there and from Ambrose. And All of a sudden, we were in a completely different realm and the momentum shifted. Absolutely, inside control on the bottom. Scott Vujakovic shoved up in against the cage and in his corner. How long does he have to play with? Looking to take the net there, doesn't get it. Oh. I'm kind of hoping we get one more of this, Brett. Looking to create some space. Yeah, he's got the, he certainly has the posture. Vujakovic putting his foot on the gas here in the second round. Looking to reach, you have to watch the up kicks in the final 10 seconds, looking to reach over the guard and land some heavy leather. Right, he's trying, but Ambrose staying active, keep hustling around. Beautiful shot there on the bell to kick the leg out from underneath Vujakovic. And if we'd had another 20 seconds there, it would have been very interesting to see what Ambrose would have pulled off after that. Well, you know, it's as cliche as it comes. Third round could be all the play for here. Yeah. Look into both corners. Seems to me that Ambrose might be just wearing the pace of this one a little more. Steve, no one was looking at the corners there. Everyone was looking at our, uh, our beautiful FCC Ringo. Well, I'd just like to think that my wife is listening, and I don't notice those things when I'm here, honey. Be, I'm watching the fight. To be fair, Steve, you had your eyes on the monitor at all times. I'll give you that. <laughs> Both corners given their last-second instructions now. We will see if fatigue is a factor in this one. Uh, both guys looking uh, you know, in reasonably good condition heading into this third and final round, given the output we've seen so far. Touch of gloves. And we're back underway for this third and final round. Emil Vujakovic, Matthew Ambrose really have been throwing down thus far in what has become a, a war of attrition, Steve, that has to be said. Absolutely, both have had their successful moments in here. Um, it seems that if, it, when they are on the front foot, they are winning this fight, as cliche as that sounds. 
Both fighters seeming a little bit more measured with their output at this stage. Fujikovic looking to get those hands working. Interesting if we see a change of tact here from Matthew Ambrose. He needs to figure out how to get some offensive techniques going here in the third round. He can't rely on, on Vujakovic to make a mistake here. He's got to take the initiative. Yeah, right now it just seems that uh, Emil Vujakovic is, is happy to kind of play counter -series. He's wait, holding the center of the cage, walking his man down through the low kick, but then gives, gives up the potential single leg. And perhaps that was what Ambrose was waiting for. Looking for a, a standing cradle almost is Vidjakovic here to prevent that takedown. Does it well. Of course, no knees to the head here under these unified amateur rules. The crowd are calling for it, but he'd have to target the body. Absolutely. Instead, he's working. Gone underneath, trying to pick that single now. Yeah, Ambrose looking for a Kimura grip there, but it's very tough to see what he's going to be able to do with it unless he catches his man on the way on the way down. Vujakovic looking to rip his man off the cage with the single leg. Uh, incredibly smart from Emil Vujakovic. The time is on his side. He is the man pressuring. No matter how you look at it, Matthew Ambrose is defending with his back to the cage. So these are seconds that are going towards winning the round for the man from Hammer. Perhaps looking to switch to a double leg. Needs to connect the hands. Looks like he has. Yeah, Looks for the hammer man to rip both legs off the cage now and take the center of gravity out from underneath Matthew Ambrose. And, and he, he does. Very nice. Works down to the knees. Ambrose has a hold of the neck, but he's very unlikely to get something working from that position. While you hear Von Fluchok being screamed from the corner of Vujakovic, I just... There's no Von Fluchok available there. But this is not, he's not in, not in any real danger in this position. Final few seconds of the round. Absolutely controlling him, holding him down. And welcome to the win column, I believe, Emil Kutukovic. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that sentiment, Steve. That was a very, very positive three rounds for the man from Hammer. You know, he took that loss over three rounds last time out. This time he's gone the distance again. I would imagine he'll certainly pick up the victory. He's got six rounds of cage time in his first two fights and that experience perhaps more valuable than, than any win or loss would be at this stage in his career. And still, Matthew Ambrose, a lot to take away from this fight, a lot of positives. That's one tough kid. And I'd definitely be interested in seeing him back at FCC 22 or anywhere else sometime in the near future. Couldn't agree with, more, with you more, Brad. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges scored about 30-27. Yomina by unanimous decision in the red corner. And show your appreciation for his opponent this evening. Give up for Matthew Ambrose.